start with new developments on the coronavirus and the effects here in Indiana. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lindsay Eden in for Bob and Debbie. We told you about how COVID-19 has long term impacts on people, and that includes a bodybuilder who tested positive back in March and is still working toward recovery. CBS 4's Courtney Crown shares his story. Gary Nance transformed his body several years ago. His hard work paid off in August 2019. I won the men's masters Indianapolis City Championship and then two weeks later I won the men's masters for 60 and up the uh, Indiana State Championship. COVID-19 transformed his body again. I'll never forget it. They came back in about an hour and a half later and told me I was just flabbergasted, you know, that my left lung was collapsed and 24 hours earlier, I knocked out 50 push-ups in 30 seconds. A week after recovering at home, an ambulance rushed into the hospital. A ventilator helped keep Gary alive from March 29th through mid-April. His mother passed away during that time. At some points, his family feared they would lose him too. It's family and faith and friends that will get you through an ordeal like what I did. From St. V's, he went to the Rehabilitation Hospital of Indiana. With the COVID-19 patients, what have you all experienced is their greatest need? Exercise and activity tolerance has declined tremendously. It's just even hard for them to dress, go to the bathroom, walk short distances. RHI cares for patients having a hard time doing basic life tasks following COVID-19. This includes those who then had a stroke or nerve inflammation. The entire body is weak, but it's because the nerves are not communicating to the muscles as well. And then that contributes a cascading of symptoms of muscle atrophy, muscle weakness. Dr. Angela Carboni notices every patient's recovery is different. Very, very weak, all the way to mildly weak. And the mildly weak could have a lot of respiratory issues. <laughs> Gary still struggles with regaining strength after leaving the hospital. He hopes his story will influence others to stay safe. Don't let your guard down yet. Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. Dr. Carbone adds COVID-19 patients are seriously struggling with anxiety and depression right now. Many are also complaining of brain fog, describing unclear thinking. Unfortunately, Dr. Carbone says these conditions are common post-ICU.